And now the freestyle competition continues. And look at this. Earlier in racing, you may remember, Monster Mutt Rottweiler broke at the starting line, was unable to start and complete the race. The truck was taken back to the pits. The outstanding team of Monster Jam technicians, the mechanics who work on the truck, really dug down deep. They got in there and they got the machine fixed. And Dustin Brown, Monster Mutt Rottweiler are out and they are freestyling. Well, look at the high speed he's carrying it into it. You know, as a driver, Dustin Brown was frustrated when he wasn't able to race, and he's going to take it out on this truck in freestyle, and that should be something the fans really love. Nice combination, excellent flow by Dustin Brown. Again, this year, starting out in Wolverine, now in the Monster Mutt Rottweiler, has earned the 2013 Monster Jam Rookie of the Year Award. And for Dustin, this is the start of a driving career, but not the start of his career in Monster Jam. As you can see, he knows how to get the big air. He also knows how to fix the machines for years. He was a Team Gravedigger crew chief, crew chiefing several world championship runs for the Gravedigger team, but always had the desire to be a driver, but he didn't want it to end like that. The landing coming right down on the nose of the truck, and that is it. And indeed, the Monster Jam truck, Monster Mutt Rottweiler, is on its roof. Well, the fans in Abu Dhabi seeing what happens in this unique and wild and crazy at times sport. Anything can happen is the answer. Let's watch it again. You can see the truck just noses down, and there's nothing that Dustin Brown can do but try and hang on for the ride when it hits like that and it's going to go over on top of those floppy ears. Now, the biggest problem for Dustin Brown, he had some great moves in Monster Mutt Rottweiler, but he did not fill the 90-second regulation clock. The judges will deduct points for that, so there's no way he is going to get the lead away from El Toro Loco. Becky McDonough will remain the leader.